Hello Leos, this week we've got Mars changing signs into Gemini. So Mars is our planet of energy, motivation, assertion, willpower and desire. And so in Gemini we have this uh, symbolism of the twins, right? So you might find this week that your willpower is a little bit split. You're like, I'll go over here, no, I'll go over there. Um, and you might also find that you are having kind of two ways of, um, of dealing with things, you know. Oh, well, I could deal with it like this or I could deal with it like that. If you're finding that um, this is a little bit overwhelming and that you would actually quite like to be more direct and to, you know, face things head on instead of getting confused and overthinking, um, then this is really an opportunity for you to take a look at things very, very clearly without any noise and say, OK, what is unnecessary here? Um, you know, what is aligned with my hopes and my dreams? Um, it obviously, you know, day to day things are not going to be aligned with your hopes and dreams, but you can look at it from the perspective of, OK, maybe I have some chore that I need to do or I have uh, some situation with my partner or with a family member. Um, you know, what is the best outcome for me? And then just take small steps towards that. And that is the best way that you're going to deal with Mars and Gemini energy and harness its power without getting overwhelmed. So we have two swords here for your weekly cards. We've got the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So yeah, there's a lot of very um, fast energy happening in your world at the moment. There's a lot of communication happening as well. It might be that everybody's got something to say. Um, it also might mean that there is a need for some compassion here um, because with a lot of swords there tends to be a lot of words and it tends to be a lot of communicating but not necessarily um, from a soft place. It's like um, maybe trying to be right over trying to be happy. Um, so really try and add some of the cups into this. Uh, the cups are to do with compassion and emotion and love, right? Um, and try not to get too caught up in the cerebral realm of, um, you know, words and concepts, basically. So, as always, you can book a reading from the links below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next week.